All right, well, here we are again. Same old, same old, out checking cameras. Um, if you'll notice, we are in a all new, smaller vehicle. It's uh, We broke down and got the uh, 2016 Toyota Tacoma in the sweet, sweet, quicksand brown color. Did away with the big Dodge and uh, went with this one. It is much nicer, I must say. Even stock as it is right now, we're going to have to make that adjustment and add some uh, height and bigger tires to the uh, equation. But as of right now, it's gotten us back to where we are. We're going to hop over this uh, ridge line here, check our first trail camera, head down the way, um, check the other one, and then uh, set a third camera uh, that I just got. So um, we'll see what happens. Might make a little stand here early. It is 5.40 in the morning, 79 degrees. See what happens. All right. I don't know. Bad enough to not hit it. <laughs> All right, Let's see it. Perfect, perfect jump. We are uh, walking back from trail camera number one. Um, after we made a little stand, actually right next to the camera, uh, calling a coyote and. Yep, we missed it. So, we're uh, walking back empty handed. Got a SD card uh, loaded, some deer, coyotes, rabbits, and cows. Pretty much the norm for that trail camera, but we're gonna leave it there. It's just a good, good trail. There's gotta be uh, a lion in through there with all that activity. So, we'll see what happens. We'll leave it there. We're heading over to trail camera, back to the truck, and then trail camera number two and uh, then we'll set number three, so stay tuned. In pictures, one's a pretty good bighorn sheep. All right, well, we just got done setting the uh, camera number two back up. Um, I mistakenly put it on like a 10 minute delay and only got about 10 videos, but one of those videos was a bighorn sheep. Um, probably the same bighorn sheep we had from before, this time on video, pretty cool stuff. And as we're checking it out, just up here on the cliffs, we heard some crashing. And uh, lo and behold, there's a ewe walking. And a minute later, here comes what I'm pretty sure is that same bighorn sheep. So pretty cool. Don't see bighorn sheep very often where we uh, hunt coyotes. So kind of a neat, neat little deal. Um, we reset it. I think it's a pretty good spot. You can see even there's track right here for a bighorn sheep right there. Bing. Bighorn sheep track, you can see how like it's a uh, square their hooves to uh, let them abound on the uh, cliffs. So, anyway, we're gonna go uh, try and find a spot for camera number three and uh, see what happens. All right, here we are, uh, camera spot number three. Nice little water hole right here. It looks pretty established. A lot of cattle tracks coming in here and tracks in general. Pretty nice tree. Um, like I said earlier, the only problem being the road is just up the hill here. 
and if you're looking close, I think you might be able to spot this, but I'm gonna set the camera up right here, kind of looking out where everything seems to be coming in, taking a drink, um, and really hopefully get anything just coming by. It's a nice corridor leading up the canyon, um, so we'll see what happens. Let's get this thing set up. We can get out of this heat. All right, well, we're heading out now. Oh, very hot, 93 degrees here is what the truck says. Um, and this new truck comes with a sweet little feature called crawl control, which is pretty neat. Uh, you essentially just push a button and it walks up a hill and down a hill for you. So you stick in four low, hit this little button here, and you let out the gas and drive, and you go up the hill. Now, the only thing is, it sounds crazy. It sounds like you got bolts and wires flying out of the engine compartment as you're going up this hill. But right now I have no foot on the gas and I'm literally, all I have to do is steer and we're going to a pretty steep grade. And uh, the idea behind it is it individually with every wheel controls uh, the traction if it's slipping and whatnot. So there you go, add a little traction slippage and it corrected for itself. So. I don't know, it's kind of one of those gizmos that's kind of neat to, to use. We'll see how often we use it, but uh, I feel like I'm in an amusement park or in like Jurassic Park and riding in the Jeep and all I gotta do is sit there. <laughs> um, that's it for us on this one. Make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and of course, subscribe to us on YouTube. Got a lot of uh, good videos and reviews coming your way. So until next time, put them down. No, no, you can't do it like that. No, you're silly. <laughs>